you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Lutz. Today I'm sitting with a personal friend of mine who is also a business owner. I'm sitting with Tiffany Fitzgerald of Golden Years, a personal home care agency. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for coming here. Thank you for inviting me. Well, I always like to talk to business owners here in the Nashville area. I love small business, and any tips that we can learn or from your experience would be great. My viewers will appreciate it. Okay, well, I'd be more than happy to give my expertise. All right, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, um, what exactly is a personal home health care service, and did I say it right? Well, actually, it's a personal home care agency. Agency, okay. So, I basically, what we are is we are a service that goes into the home of seniors or those with behavioral health illness and we assist them with their ADLs and ADL stands for activities of daily living okay so we can help them with bathing grooming dressing outings you know just basically you know everyday activities so somebody is elderly and they need help so what do you feed them cook for them actually we can assist as far as feeding we do do meal preparation, um, we do uh, cleaning services. We can help you with whatever you need assistance with because you know most people are so used to doing those different activities on a day-to-day -day basis, but when you get to be a senior, it becomes a little more difficult. So you just need a tad bit of assistance and that's what we're here for. So are these the type of things that when we're younger and more agile, and we can move around and we kind of take for granted? Exactly, yeah. We do take a lot of things for granted, such as, you know, getting up, you know, buttoning, buttoning the shirt up or, you know, putting on our pants or just being able to, you know, even take a bath. So, wow. yeah, I mean, it, it gets to be difficult, so. Wow. Now, um, can you provide any medicine for um, people? No, actually, we're not medical. Okay. service so um, what we do is we provide them with a medication reminder so you know we would assist them as far as making sure that they take their medicine remind them or you know if they need help getting the top or the bottle off or something like that then we can help them there okay but you yeah. can't actually administer administer but right. you can remind them right okay so that still can be helpful mm -hmm. now um i want to switch gears a little bit i'm curious to know how did you uh fall into this business well, actually, how I fell into this business is I actually wanted to become a nurse. Um, you know, like in my younger years, I was actually in pursuit of a music career. Oh, and okay. I went to school for nursing. So I said nursing would always be my fallback. And so, you know, I have done my music endeavors and I said it didn't work out the way that I really wanted it to. So I wanted to try what I loved. I mean, I was just as passionate about, you know, nursing, caring, loving um, someone. So I was, I just kind of switched gears a little bit and that's how Golden Years came about. So were you initially working for somebody and you said, you know what, I think I'm going to do this myself or was it always like I'm about to do the entrepreneur thing? Well, actually, I had always been an entrepreneur, you know, with music, you know, it's kind of like a grind thing where you're yeah. constantly going and you know trying to make it happen so you know in trying to become an artist and then um you know having a job it was kind of difficult to balance you know having a job trying to pursue a music career so i actually lost my job mm. and um and so in the process of that i was like okay i gotta figure out something really quick and so i actually you know just started kind of getting people because i prayed and I didn't know what else I wanted to do mm. so I was like okay let me take a step back I prayed about it and I actually just started getting individuals who knew that I had did that in my past and so I was like okay maybe this is what God wants me to do so I just started doing it and then you know here we are wow yeah. now do you um now that you've started your own business and well first do you have um, employees yeah I do so you have employees you have a, a service that you provide, you have customers. Right. Um, so would you say to people that want to start their own business, do you think it's a difficult process? Did you need a lot of money? Um, things of that nature. I, I'm sure people are curious to know. Well, you know, I mean, I think, of course, you always need money. Mm -hmm. But 
like I said, when I first started, I had lost my job. So I really didn't have money as a resource. So I took the resources that I did have. I started building a rapport, establishing as many relationships as I possibly could, researching, finding out, you know, information that would be beneficial to me. And, you know, I just went with that and I just kept consistently, you know, trying to do my business and so you know eventually it started coming together but at first it was hard you know I mean I had so many I've had so many hardships I still have hardships obstacles and challenges that I have to overcome on a day-to-day -day basis you know so yeah I mean it's hard but anything that you do it, it could be challenging but mm -hmm. you have to just have in your mind that you know you're gonna overcome the obstacles and find you know innovative ways to make it work now, would you say, even with those obstacles, is it still worth it? Do you enjoy being a business owner? Oh, I I enjoy it. I, mean, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> listen, there is nothing like the flexibility that you have as, you know, mm. owning your own business, but you do have a lot more responsibility. That's so. right. That's yeah. right. So. That check, is, check isn't promised on Friday. <laughs> exactly. Unless you so make it happen. That is exactly right. <laughs> um, now, are you um, an actual natural native? Yes, I was born and raised in Nashville. So. Okay. What high school did you go to? I went to McGavick. 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 Yeah. She's Nine representing six. McGavick. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how do you feel about all the changes that have happened in Nashville, particularly in the last, let's say, two to five years? Um, and how do you feel about Nashville as a for business as the city grows? Well, you know, Nashville is definitely evolving. I mean, I just cannot even believe that this is the city that I'm actually from. I mean, this is so family oriented. I mean, I wouldn't change living here for the life of me. Mm. You know, I've moved many places. Atlanta is one of them that I have resided in. And I really enjoyed it, but with the growth and it being so rapid, I mean, it's it's just a wonderful thing. There's so many opportunities to, you know, blossom from here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I like that. It's not oversaturated. You know, there's still room for many opportunities. So. It really is. Yeah. That's what I, yes, I agree with you. That's what I love about Nashville. It's growing, but it's not, it's not stopped. Some of those other southern cities, yeah, I feel like if you didn't already get in, it's not going to right. happen. Right. Because it's like oversaturated with a lot of different entrepreneurs doing the same thing. Yes. You know? So. So here in your business line, do you meet a lot of other companies that do with, do with you? Do? Oh, Nashville, yes. There are a lot of home health agencies. Um, but, you know, like there has to be something that sets you apart. And mm. the one thing that I can say that differentiates me from other home care agency is my passion. You know, I mean, of course, I'm a small business, so I still, you know, always have that personal touch. You know, mm -hmm. I have a really good relationship. And you know what? I get my hands dirty, too. I, I still work my business. Yeah, you work it, too. So, yeah. Owner, operator. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So now, if anyone has... Um, a family member or you themselves and they need uh, your services how can they contact you so actually if you would like to um, get a free consultation you are more than welcome to contact us at 615-369-0614 or you can go to our website for additional information at www.goldenyearsllc.org Oh, that's great. Wow. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for taking your time out. I know you're a busy, busy professional woman, but we really appreciate you coming here and telling us your story. And hopefully you have helped encourage others out there to start their own business. Yeah, well, I hope that, you know, I'm trying to live a life with purpose. All right. That's great. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thank you. And once again, you've been tuning in to Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.